I have zero clue what this is. Uh, nope. That's not gonna help me either. According to its developers, Ferionic takes the combat design of Dark Souls and... Mm -hmm. So this could either be pl a pleasant surprise or it could fall apart very quickly. Ugh. Something about the way they do the faces is mildly terrifying. You know, we're picking our character traits, but in the process, we're also creating the personality and backstory for our character. Because right now, we are a southern fancy sailor man. There's no voice for this, is there? So in 440 years, he reincarnated 30 times. Which means that, like, did the life expectancy drop for each subsequent reincarnation? Oh, if there's no dialogue, that means everyone's going to talk with their hands, huh? This is a $15 game, so they probably didn't have budget for VOs. You know, you say that, but you would be surprised, like, how cheap you can get some VAs. You just gotta know where to look. Oh, I thought we were going to light that on fire. No. Oh, I couldn't tell from the camera where the blade was going to come from. So now I know. That's better. Again, this is not how I expected to end up using the torch as a blunt object and not lighting anything on fire. <laughs> All right, well, that turned out better because we got an equipment drop. Okay. Going a little far with the Dark Souls stuff. Let's run back and save. Because I don't know how often that thing will like, either of those enemies will drop equipment. But since I got something, I want to make sure I hang on to it. Wait, did both of them respawn? Both of them respawned. So, I'm understanding the Dark Souls influence, but this is a little more... clunky. Crown of the... Ah... Uh. Really going that route already? Yeah, I've I've already been told that, thanks. Alright, I hit parry and nothing happened. Which means we just lost a ton of progress. Nope. No thanks. What is that noise? Okay. You can put away the prompt now, I get it. Oh, that sound is the warden torturing people, even though it just sounds like regular fight noises. Let me guess. I have to dodge that. Supreme Vict- Hey, that's a killer instinct thing. So after that boss fight, I... I mean, on a very basic level, I see the Use backpack power. On a very basic level, I see the Dark Souls inspiration, but... That's pretty much all it is, is just base level inspiration. I can't use backpack power. Oh, I had to have the backpack first, of course. But why would it give me the prompt to do that before I even had it? <laughs> now we shall see if you are the dang it, Bobby, I think. I had a feeling that name was going to come back to bite me. Doesn't look bad, but it's just side-scrolling ancient Egyptian Dark Souls and not much else. Uh, 
I don't know even about that. Okay, why was he talking like he was in a Shakespeare play, but everyone else is just kind of speaking normally? Oh, what now? The timing on that parry is unusually tight. Because there are some times it looks like I've landed them and then it just didn't count. Can I go now? Alright, finally we can move on. Never mind. Oh my god. Ugh. So yeah, the opening area, really easy. This area just says fuck it and throws waves of enemies at you. It's such a load of shit that you still get hit by that. This wouldn't be as frustrating as if it if it were consistent. Wait, hold on while I count the money. Well, at, I, at least I got a better piece of equipment, I guess. But I'm still kind of screwed. Was the phrase shitstorm very common in Egyptian times? Oh, that bitch. He hadn't even swung the weapon yet and I died. Are you ready to do a lot of that shit over again? Because I'm not. So it's like just inherently an excuse for them to be unfair. You said it, not me. I'm meeting the skill requirements. Of a beer, a wench, and a laugh. Why are you talking like a Bard's Tale character? Son of a bitch. Okay, so you can't dodge over the switch. You just have to try and dodge at the right time that the trap pops up. That seems like a roundabout way of doing it, but fine, whatever you say. We want a 2D, we're sticking to 2D. No matter how much the graphics flash in the background when I don't want them to. Oh, that is popping on the sides. I knew I th was seeing something. Yeah, I have so many skirts. And in any other context, that would be a really creepy statement. <laughs> Grand Vizier, dang it, Bobby. I don't know why I find that somewhat amusing, but I do. Whoa. Was that screen tearing or a flickering texture? So this took a bit of a turn. I just have a poly- Okay, that was definitely screen tearing. You know, I thought we were doing it the entire time, but apparently we're going to fight like an Egyptian. Oh, his hitbox wasn't active. Great. So I know that that's supposed to be the sign for low stamina, but every time it shows up, I just think our spider sense is going off. I mean, you know, that is a fair point, because Salt and Sanctuary does exist. But if you don't have Salt and Sanctuary, you can get Salt and Sanctuary at home. Oh right, their hitbox doesn't appear for a bit. So I can go back to town and complete a quest, but I have no idea where town is relative to me. Give me a minute. I'm trying to 
evaluate how much I can pawn off this sword for. So we had the difficulty spike before, and then it was a valley, and now the difficulty has spiked again. Come on, camera. So you can sort of adjust the camera, but it doesn't really help. Yes, it is. Wait, is every quest going to be an achievement? How many achievements does this game have? Wait, what happened to the hitbox there? So these fights are at the point where they're just getting kind of tedious. All right, sure. Why did you face the other way? You know, the 2D thing is starting to not work. And my block just didn't work. Ugh. I would parry against him, but parrying has worked so poor for poorly for me as of late. Oh, come on, the boss is dead. Just stop. Fucking stop! They really use the attack that we point for massive damage line. So, the heavy attack for this... ...takes more than half of my stamina. And even the light attack takes almost half. So, they've decided to make the fights slower. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see if it pays off. At what point does it stop being worth it? Wait, that would imply it was worth it to begin with. Oh, well, never mind my shield, I guess. There are times in this game where I can parry consistently, and sometimes where it just won't work at all. And I don't know where the middle ground is. That seems like it definitely should have hit me. Oh my god, you were right. That attack does course correct. That is... My god. Mother of God, just stop. What 90s cartoon did that thing come out of? Oh, shit. Uh. Oh, fuck you, game. How about this? Get used to me not playing you anymore. Even considering what was supposed to be the inspiration for this, there's a fine line between hard and just outright dickish. I don't hate the concept of this, but there were certain inconsistencies with how it played that just drove me up the wall. And when the solution to something is more enemies, just go back to the drawing board.